Yeah, look, if I, if I start off by saying, uh, between success and, and not successful or failure, it's very small margins. I just look at the last test uh, against Wales. You know, we, we lost by a penalty in the last couple of minutes. We had opportunities as well. Uh, Andres Pollard, Andre Pollard's uh, uh, hitting the upright. Malcolm Marks try, it's been disallowed. On the other hand, you know, Wales got off to a flyer. They got two kicks, pinpoint kicks. And it's got nothing about where who should have been played and who should have been in what position. Accurately, tactically worked out, uh, and, and they scored from that. So they get opportunities, they, you know, unfortunately for us it's, it's not there uh, yet, but I'm so pleased uh, that there's 50% improvement since last year. Last year we didn't win a test on tour. This year we won two. After uh, setbacks we came back. So, so to me this tour it, it has been uh, a satisfactory one. And if you also should remember that, I've started with a neat new team this year. A new team this year. 12 new caps for, for this year only. 12 guys playing for the first time in Europe. And, uh, and, and if you look at 2014, with a very experienced team, the box went there and they lost the same two games, Ireland and they lost Wales, with players in their third year of Springbok rugby. We started this year with the, with the first, you know, sort of last year. Unfortunately, if if this was my first year, you know, then definitely would have been a, a, a much, much better position. But unfortunately, I had to start afresh, start with new coaches, start with new group of players. And, and for this year, I'm really pleased with the progress made. The progress made in, uh, if you look, our inbound tour, we had three top games against France. We won away with Argentina. Uh, we won twice there. We had two draws, unfortunately, against Australia. Uh, one terrible game against New Zealand, but then they won it. Newlands. If you look at it, we've lost we, it, nine games. We haven't lost in nine games. We haven't lost this year. So we, had, and that's how I look at it. And that to me is a massive positive in nine games. Eight, hundred percent. Eight years out of out of fourteen. So we lost four uh, and two draws, obviously. So for me, it is. Uh, no, it is nine. We haven't lost two draws and seven wins. Gives me nine. So I'm positive about uh, the progress that we've made. I'm positive about uh, the young players. If you look at uh, uh, the Lustrio, for instance, Francia and Duane played Italy and they played France. We won those two games. We've got Jaco Krill out, we've got Warren Whiteley out, and we've got Jean-Luc Dupri out. And yet we could go there and still play with a group of players. It tells us something about our, our depth that we had, have in South Africa. We've got uh, uh, Vincent Koch overseas, we've got Franz Mullerba out, we've got Kuni Oosesen out. Here comes the Wilco Lowe, and he's been awesome this year. And and those are the those are the big positives for me. So that we have players who can compete going forward and just get better gain experience. Our average age of our, uh, or, or in terms of the caps of our backs is 10. That is the average uh, uh, sort of experience we've got at the back line. And, and a lot of people are saying, and you guys are writing about the backs are not really there yet. They are not really there yet because they're not experienced yet. That we all said about how good Warwick is. Yes, he's a brilliant player, but it's his second test that he's been played. You know, he's played in. Yes, Warwick. People say that he's playing out of position. The kicks that the Wales executed has got nothing to do with a, a, a positional play. Uh, what one has got to understand: the Welsh cut the All Blacks and scored from first phase. Uh, scored tries from first phase. So you have to defend with 13 guys up. And we had our wings up, that is, and they just exploited keeping the one wing, faking to one side, keeping the one wing. So he would have been late to cover all the time, and then those little grubbers and the kicking behind, that worked. So in defense, there's no team, never in the world, that can stop everything. The kick space, the run space, the directness, it doesn't work in defense like that. So somewhere, and they just exploited that, and they got it spot on. Those kicks were as accurate as they could have been, you know. So, but, but, uh, the, the way we fought back in that test, I'm really pleased about, about that. And the way we, we, we looked at our, we looked at our, guys, if we look at, uh, from Ireland, from Ireland, we made a couple of mistakes. I think tactically we didn't approach that one right. Uh, uh, we, we should have had distance kicking. 
if you kick for distance, then you will get more line outs in the opposition half. And we opted to go more contestable. And the execution of the contestables weren't that good. So, and then the second thing was our, our discipline. Right? And after lo losing Kuni so early against Ireland, we also then battled at Scrum Tab. There we conceded a couple of penalties. So th that, those were the mistakes against Ireland we made, you know. And ever so, we conceded 13 penalties. So our discipline wasn't really up to it. And then after that, we conceded from 13, we conceded 9 against France, 8 against uh, Italy, and th only 3 penalties against Wales. So we have progressed in many ways. Our discipline was really, uh, you know, something really, really to, to build on and to work. That's what you face in Northern Hemisphere rugby. I think the other point I'd like to make is we are so far removed in the Southern Hemisphere from Test Rugby. And, and we shouldn't underestimate that. When we play in Super Rugby, it's completely different. The club rugby in Europe uh, lends itself, you know, or is closer to test match rugby uh, than you can get. Because Northern Hemisphere, every bar, the last test, where there was a roof, it was open and it rained in wet conditions. And when it's wet and, and in those conditions, you're actually better off without the ball at times and you're better off by just turning the opposition and, and putting it behind them. So in Super Rugby, we've got a ball and in mindset, which is great. And I can see how our skills have developed through that. And all that we need is more experience from our 9s, 10s and 15s to be able, our game managers, to be able to get us in the right areas and be tactically more astute. I'll tell you what, they, Wales also, the, not with their strength, uh, their full strength side, but they were prepared to pay £60,000 to keep Falata, you know, to, 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 to play for Wales this weekend. It's supposed to be uh, with Bath, but that's how uh, it happens there. They, they took the fine as a, as a country, you know, they paid that money. The big thing, uh, uh, their fullback, uh, half, nearly half penny, he was there, 60 odd test caps. The 10, then bigger, 59 test caps, he was there. And those are the game managers that runs the show in those kind of conditions now to play in the Northern Sphere. They had Falatau, part of the spine, they're number eight, with over 50 test caps. And that's the experience you're talking about versus the inexperience of our team at this point in time.